When you look at the competition, I think a lot of us think, well, we just sell our pork. But if you look at Japan, our major, our major competitors in Japan are Canada, Denmark, Chile, France, and Germany. But that 26 means that's the number of countries that are going after the Japanese market. So we're going to have Rebecca Hendricks coming to Japan in a couple of weeks. And she's going to talk about not the difference of U.S. pork vis-a-vis -vis U.S. beef or U.S. poultry, but how we can sell our pork, what are our competitive advantages against Canada, Denmark, Chile, some of these people. South Korea, 19 countries going after South Korea. Canada, Denmark, very, very strong. Chile, very strong. But the, the one that's gaining the most right now is Germany in that market. The Germans are really working the Asian markets. As you know, the EU has an FTA with Korea, and so we have the Europeans aggressively coming to North Asia. They understand the margins, the value, so it's getting very competitive. Hong Kong, 49 countries going into an enclave of about 7 million people. You can imagine that. And in Mexico, we have about seven major competitors, uh, Canada being by far the number one, and the other ones are, of course, uh, out there. So that's, that's really the, the situation. When we look at the forecast for 2012, we're looking at about 2.2 million metric tons. We're still looking at eclipsing that $6 billion mark as far as value, and we expect to be around the same, about $54 to $55 ahead.